Hey guys and welcome to another Mad Mag Mondays. I currently have my neighbour looking over his balcony at me and looking at me like I'm a complete idiot. So I hope you all appreciate what I'm doing here because in real life you look like a bit of a nuffy when you do this. Um, today we will be talking about how to um, set your computer after you've reset your computer. So every time you disconnect your battery the computer in your car will reset uh, and a lot of people have been asking me how to you know reprogram it I guess you could call it so set sedan wagon how many liters your engine is it's all really 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 easy but some people don't know how to do it so that's what I'm going to show you today uh, the other thing I will touch lightly on because I've seen a lot of posts over the years asking if they will work is those $20 eBay performance performance chips you can buy uh, yeah we all know how I feel about eBay things so you probably know what the answer to that is going to be whether they work or not Mighty Car Mods have done it before they can they did it with a dyno and stuff so obviously if you want a more detailed description go and watch that i will try and link it down below like will the other people on youtube do if i remember if i can figure out how to let's give it a whirl okay so the first step of course is to put the key in the ignition switch it once so it's on so as you would normally listen to the radio without actually turning the car on without the engine on um, now with here it is really really hard to see because it is quite glary even though the weather's been terrible and now it's sunny and why do bad things happen to good people so like I was saying up here will flash your trip computer um, and I do apologize for the shit lighting and the shit focusing of my camera right now uh, I have tried to fix it, but it just is not happening, but we'll get the idea. So the little S that will first pop up stands for sedan. The little W, which also looks like backwards J's and does not look like a W at all, actually stands for wagon. You can select between the two by just pressing the little mode button up here. So if you select mode, it will change. Now this is a sedan that I am in, which is my car, uh, and the way to select sedan instead of just changing to wagon is super duper easy. Just hold mode until it beeps. When it beeps, you'll get the option of a 3.5 litre or 3 litre. This is a 3.5 litre. Uh, so obviously select that. If you've got a 3 litre, select that. Again, just selecting by pressing down the mode button until it beeps. Now this is the bit that confuses me every time I turn my car on, so I'm probably going to stuff it up here as well. Please forgive me if I do. So this is the set speed. This will beep and yell at you if you speed. If you're like me and forget to sometimes, you know, do this step. It will beep at you doing 60 down the road and you think, holy shit, what have I done? And then you look down and your computer yells at you for speeding. So the way to turn it off, hold in the speed alarm buttons and bammo, it's off. You don't have to set it. It's all good. It will not beep at you even when you're doing 220 down a back road. Who would have done that? Certainly not me. Much ever. <laughs> Magnus don't go that fast. And then you can simply turn your car on as normal. Sometimes they will run a little bit funny after resetting because they are a learning ECU. Um, also, if your car does that, it shouldn't. It shouldn't, that's just my car that does that because I'm missing a wire so my doors don't unlock when I'm in a crash. Safety first here, people. Uh, but yeah. Regardless, uh, that is how you do it. So yeah, that is the basics of resetting your trip computer. As you can see, it is really easy. I do apologize for the out of focus and glariness. I will figure out how to get around it one day. That day, let's be honest, is not today. But you get the general idea. It is really, really easy to do. 
Uh, as I mentioned at the start of the video, Mighty Carmons did a video on this themselves, which is much better than I could do, let's be honest. But that's okay, because they've, you know, they've been doing it for years, I've been doing this for like a month, so... Whatever. Shit happens. Um, will your eBay performance chip work? No. Should you buy one? Absolutely not. Are they rubbish? More rubbish than a trash can itself. They don't do anything. You have an ECU for a reason. You have a math sensor for a reason. Your computer works out all the things that this computer thinks it's going to. You basically have a couple of wires. I'm not entirely sure where you wire the Magna ones in. Probably somewhere into the coolant or into the MAF or something stupid like that. Um, they don't change anything. They don't change the temperature of the air going in to make it colder. They do not change the amount of air going in. They don't change the temperature of the coolant. They don't change the temperature of the engine. They don't change the amount of fuel going into the engine. And they sure as hell don't change your fuel mapping, which is the biggest difference, I believe. And I could be wrong, but I believe the fuel mapping is just the biggest difference between, say, your rally art tune and your standard tunes. Um, in saying that, you can flash your normal ECU in your car with a Tactrix and Evo scan. I do have a Tactrix, and I did mean to get it and show you guys. But I left it inside and I'm lazy and I'm not going to go get it, so sorry. I will post a photo of the box though, because I'm a top person occasionally. That occasion is not very often. <laughs> but yeah, the best way to do it, get a Tatrix and Evo scan. If you don't have one or you don't know how to do it, uh, get a friend to do it, get someone that you know to do it. You can break your ECU, you can brick it. So basically that happened to me, whoops. First time we ever tried to flash my ECU with the rally art tune, given that I've got the heads, the cams, you know, all that jazz. We bricked my ECU, so I ended up having to get a new ECU BEM and ignition barrel. Uh, yeah, not a fun time. My car was a garden ornament for a little while. That's cards for you though. So yeah, if you don't flash it properly, you basically can take the old firmware off the computer and leave no firmware on it. And then because there's no firmware on it, it can't read other firmware. So it basically bricks itself and yeah. You could build a house with them because they're bricks. <laughs> Thank you guys once again for watching and a massive shout out to all the guys that I did actually get to meet in Albury on the weekend. So last weekend we had an Albury meet with quite a few Magna people, um, I guess you could call us, Magna fanatics, Magna enthusiasts, people who drive Magnas. Uh, and it was really, really good. I got to meet a lot of people that I have seen on the internet and I actually got to put faces to their profile pictures, which was awesome. So shout out to everyone that I met. It was really great to meet you all. I'll post a couple of photos in this video right now. Thank you again for watching Mag Mad Mondays. Um, as I have mentioned probably a billion times before now in my three videos that I've made now. Uh, I'm no professional, please bear with me. My editing's terrible, my video work is terrible. You can see my arm here like I'm holding the camera. My fucking arm really hurts, I'll be honest. That's why I'm like a little bit, because uh, it's a bit shaky, <laughs> it's a bit sore. Uh, so please bear with me while I'm learning how I'm going to do this. There will be more educational videos on the way. I was going to do uh, how to change springs today, but the weather got really, really terrible, so we didn't have time to film and change springs. <sighs> but that's okay. When summer finally gets here, I will post more uh, educational videos, I guess, with more how to do things step by step. And yeah. 
thank you guys once again for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, any feedback, let me know. I do know a lot of this is pretty not great as it is, but if there is anything that you would like to say, leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys next time.